Hey Summit, this is Edward and you know this guy, this old Jake here and uh, we have a short update video this week. Unless like, unless we want to let them in on the uh, theological argument we were just having. Nah, I don't does think Does God I, love I Alabama? Does God love everybody? Alabama football. That's no. What we, that's no. what we were talking about. You were making fun of my Notre Dame hat and then you started picking on the Notre Dame people and I said... I'm accepting of everybody, and you said even Alabama fans, and I said yes. I God. thought we weren't going to let them in on this. You said, and you're letting no. you're, but you're then talking you said, about it anyway. But then you said God did not love the Assyrians. I did not say that. I asked. I did said. He? I said he did love I did the Assyrians. Not ask that. I said did he sent he? Jonah. I was challenging and you. And the Assyrians repented. So if God loves the Assyrians, I can love Notre Dame. Y'all pray for Jake. He needs it. Uh, hey, real quick, let me mention one, uh, one thing. Jake's got something else. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for last week. Our budget passed unanimously, and we are so excited about the 2021 year. Yeah. Even though we don't know what 2021 is. It was like hold. 96 to nothing, and then we went to bed, and we woke up, and it was 196 to nothing. You really want to go there? You I really, was excited. You, so anyway, it, it, it totally passed. We're excited. We don't know what next year is going to hold any more than we knew what 2020 was going to hold. But here's what we do know is that God still called us to love this community, reach this community, ultimately reach the world. And so there's all kinds of things still going on. Remind you to be faithful to finish this year uh, financially. I do have a theory, though, on the 2020-2021, why it's been so jacked up. Remember in, I'm scared to ask. remember in 2012 when the Mayan said the world was going to end in 2012? Yeah. I think the Mayan that was running the calendar was dyslexic, and it's really 2021. So everything's been kind of, you know, could be. I mean, it's just a theory. I'm dyslexic, so I can see the signs. So be faithful as we finish this year. We're excited about that. I have no idea what he's talking about. Well, you just talked about you didn't know what 2021 was going to bring, and it's been chaotic, and we may be building up to something. And that this could is supposed be... to be a short video, remember, and you're getting into all kinds of conspiracy theorists. That's not conspiracy. It's just I, I get my I, I get my numbers mixed up. Um, I barely passed high school. I get my numbers mixed up. And... Hey, speaking of numbers, uh, Jake mentioned last week from the stage, uh, we do have a lot of benevolence and loved one stuff happening. We've written a ton of checks this week. Your faithful giving has allowed us to do that. We're still going to have more. Christmas is still a couple of weeks away. Um, I think we're going to see more families come through the door for food and help and your faithfulness in the area of giving, not only to our budget, but also to this yeah. love one, continue to be faithful and Could have some Assyrians that. that need some stuff for the holidays. Gotta have the money in the bank to meet needs. Yes. So, Jake, why don't you talk about what's happening this uh, Sunday? There's uh, we got grief support. Grief support meets this Sunday. So, in December, Jenny always has a surprise for the people in the ministry. Good meal. And mm -hmm. so, uh, if you guys know somebody, it's the holidays. It's been a rough year. Uh, people get down the holidays. They just need somewhere to sit. They don't have to talk. So, what I love about this ministry is Jenny and Judy and Tomasa. You can just sit and you can just, you know, they'll do some talking or they'll just listen. If you want to talk, it doesn't really matter. And then the other cool thing is, is we send out grief books all year long to people that are it's grieving. Crazy. So if you it's know crazy. somebody and they want to get on the mailing list, call the church office, talk to Jenny. Jenny will send out a four-step grief process. It takes a year to go through, so you get a book every three months. And then she also sends out follow-up letters. And so if you know somebody, it doesn't matter where they are, Indiana, Indiana, Notre Dame, you know, you know, or Syria. I mean, just put them on the list. Jenny will get stuff out to them. Yeah, uh, that's such a great ministry. I, I get phone calls and letters from people all over the country. Yeah, that it's really cool. We've been sending those for, gosh, almost 10 years now, I think, is when that started years ago. And such a great ministry uh, that that we have to so many people. Yeah. <clears throat> so what else you got this morning? I uh, need to make another plea. Got to ask, man. We desperately need some help in first impressions. And so if you've been wanting to get your feet wet and serving at Summit Heights, I could use you on the first impressions team. Send me an email, jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. Call me at the church office. 
uh, and it's real. Is there's not a lot to it, man. We're just holding signs. We're greeting people. A little bit of cleanup and uh, stuff in between services. But uh, we need some more people on that team. Love to have you, man. That makes such a huge difference when you think about people showing up for the first time and people coming in to be smiled at, to be acknowledged. I think about Chick Fil A and how great of a job they man, do. They do a good and job and customer service and that. And it's just good to be acknowledged. I think what better ministry for you to be involved in to take just a few minutes before the service to be a part of that and to love on people, smile at people, greet people, high five, elbow, fist bump, whatever, and and be a part of that. So get signed up for that. It's a great ministry. You, if we, you, you don't have to serve every Sunday. It's rotation. Once deal. a month is what we shoot for. Man, that I mean, that's simple. That's so simple to do. Uh, just to walk around, love on people, hold signs, glad you're here. Get signed up for that. Get with Jake this week. I'm glad you brought up the Chick-fil-A analogy. You know that Chick-fil-A, man, they can run like a thousand people through it's those drive-through lines. They can get you in and out in five minutes. I was really considering hiring Chick-fil-A to try to get your sermons moving along. Is that right? I mean, sometimes we're in there, I mean, way too long. So I was thinking, but what they can get a hundred people through that drive-through and food and well, like see, here's two my minutes, goal. Here's my goal. In your my, sermon. Sermon my goal done. in my sermon is that someday you're going to actually respond. I've responded. That, that you're going to actually do something, and so I'm excited. I'm the that one that believes continues. God loves everybody. I, I accept say everybody. I didn't say that. I, I, I just said, "Did God?" And I was asking you a theological question to see how you would respond because you're wearing that hat. Uh, mm. Well, so, we would have had the cameras rolling earlier because that's not how we Yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. Hey, Summit, we love you. We hope you have a great week. I love this guy. I love that we get to get together and uh, hang out and do ministry together, and we get to do ministry with you guys. Uh, he's got his Christmas shirt on this morning, and I had mine on last week, Screaming Goats. You've got the Elf, which we've watched that like four times already yeah, this year. It's, uh, it's one of those we can't quit watching and Home Alone and all that. Uh, just watching those Christmas shows. We hope you have a great week. Can't wait to see you this Sunday. Got two more Sundays and it's Christmas. Uh, love you. See you Sunday.